Every few days, I seem to get another call or email from another angry bride. Layson Vine tells us they are, quote, working diligently to resolve the complaints. A friend took these photos of Mimi Fan's September New England wedding because Atlanta-based Layson Vine photography was a no-show, canceling with this text just hours before the start of the ceremony. The day of the wedding, we were very angry, um, but we're more frustrated at this point because we just want it to be over. Jasmine Murphy hired Lace and Vine to shoot and edit a video of her April wedding. Nearly six months later, she's still waiting on the video she was promised in 60 to 90 days. It's not like we're about to go back and do this all over again. We're not doing it all over again. I've talked with half a dozen other brides with similar stories. There's even a Victims of Lace and Vine Facebook group. A bride who wanted to remain anonymous as she fights to get a refund wrote me, quote, they completely no showed my wedding. No communication after I sent them the final payment. Are you speaking the truth? Do you want the truth? Just I am yes, trying to speak seek the truth. Yes, I'm sir. You, do you want the truth? Or do you want me to validate what your concerns and your feelings are? I spoke for more than 30 minutes to Lace and Vine's co-owner on the phone. He also sent me dozens of text messages. Now that we're on the record, yes, Mimi Fine. I did not show up for her wedding. My engine blew on my car. I contacted her and told her that I wouldn't be able to be there. And I told her to file a dispute for her refund. He says that car breakdown was in North Carolina on the wedding day. That's pretty tight timing to be driving up the day of in North Carolina when the wedding is that afternoon in Boston. Lace and Vine's website is now shut down. The couple who owned it have gone their separate ways and tell me that has led to a major backup of work. Mimi Fan still has no refund. Lace and Vine told her by text that negative reviews and canceled weddings have led to a deficit in their account. You were already at a point where it's just too much to handle. Why would you keep taking on more wedding? And just half hour before airtime, Lace and Vine turned back on their website and posted a lengthy statement for their customers reading in part, quote, Lace and Vine Weddings has experienced a shift in management in the past few months that has unfortunately impacted the quality of service and communication with our clients. It does, though, object to some of those online reviews, continuing, quote, some reviews that have been posted online are entirely fraudulent in nature. Reporting in Midtown Atlanta, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News.